Did you know that there's a brewery craze going on in America? What used to be a hobby in some folks' garages has blown up into a nationwide phenomenon. There is a brewery craze going on in America, but has anybody asked the question, why? Well, we have Ryan and Karis' Brew Bus, RVing America's unique breweries. Let's go on the road and see why these unique breweries got started. I'm Ryan. And I'm Karis, and you're invited to go on tour with us. Hitting the road doing what we love to do, RVing. And discovering unique breweries along the way. First stop, Ebor City, Rock Brothers Brewing. One of our favorite places we go to is Rock Brothers Brewery in Ybor City. This place is amazing. It incorporates rock bands and their beer together. I've never seen a place like this before. Very cool. I'm a huge, huge, huge diehard Tom Petty fan. And I love the concept that they have here of it being a rock venue where they have concerts and live music all the time on top of fantastic beer. My name's Scooby Olivier. I'm the Director of Spirits and Education here at Rock Brothers Brewing. Basically, to keep with the theme of Rock Brothers, what we do here is we create beers with bands. They're 100% collaborations. A great example would be our uh, Hootie's Homegrown Blonde Ale, which created with uh, Hootie and the Bowfish. Darius Rucker came to us and said, you know, I'm getting into craft beer and I'm looking for something new and this is kind of what I like. So can you guys do this, but maybe add something to it? So we took what he was looking for and interpreted it into a beer and gave him exactly what he wanted. We're headed to St. Petersburg, Florida. Three Daughters Brewing. My name is Bob Carscat, I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager here at Three Daughters Brewing. The history behind the name Three Daughters is actually kind of funny. Our, uh, our owners, our founders, were sitting there one time when we were discussing whether or not opening the brew was really a viable option. And the wife looks to the husband and says, well, how many beers do you think we'd have to sell to get our three daughters through college? So, here we are, Three Daughters Brewing. We are in Charlotte at Catawba Brewing. We have a special guest, Scott Pyatt. He's one of the founding members of Catawba Brewing. How did you come up with Catawba Brewing? Uh, Catawba is a river that starts in western North Carolina at the Eastern Continental Divide. What was your inspiration to start Catawba Brewing? Uh, lack of a job. <laughs> what did you do before? I worked in the ski industry. Okay. My brother had got a homebrew kit for Christmas and uh, get together, we were making a lot of different beers. And then you started listening to friends and friends say, you know, your beer is better than the beer over here at this brew pub or this place. No, no. And it was, pretty sure it was. Yeah. So I decided to go ahead and kind of turn from making beer and giving it away to getting licensed and doing it. We took see a direction. So every weekend we would work on our home brewing setups and then and on Sunday, we would brew and drink beers. We were talking to some friends, and a friend said, you know what, they haven't really listed it out yet, but the old Kellogg's factory over off of um, Central Avenue is going to start breaking it up and dividing it out. And we contacted uh, one of the owners. Uh, really cool if you guys want to come in too. Yeah, so show us the building. And how, how large is this? The square footage of this is? So we're right around 10,000. Hey, I'm Karis. We arrived to Pinehurst. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful Pinehurst, North Carolina. This is, if you're a golfer, this is a go-to place. You must go. You've heard of it. And if you're a beer and a golfer, this is the brewery you want to go to. Hi, I'm Karis. This is Laura. We're here at Pinehurst Brewing in Pinehurst, North Carolina. She's going to take us through history and the uniqueness of the brewery. And I think you guys are really going to love it. I know I'm going to love it because I've never been here. And this place is really cool. <laughs> this is a super cool building. Yeah. So this building actually used to be the steam plant that powered the entire village of Pinehurst in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, and all the mechanics and everything underneath 
underneath here was pulled out of this building. All right, we're at Tide Land Brewing in Charleston, South Carolina. Beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. Beautiful, and this place is awesome. This is Hunter, he's the owner. He's uh, gracious enough to actually let us stay the night here. In Not RV. in here, <laughs> in the RV. <laughs> I hope it's, the taps are still on all night long. We'll so work on <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. So, Hunter, tell us, um, how did you guys start? Man, we, we started home brewing in our garage, so. It's a common thing. Right. Yeah. As most people do, we, we home brewed in our garage, grew a passion for it, got better and better. And and now, why Thailand? Um, you know, I yeah, is so rich um, with natural resources and water, and we decided to, to try to honor this. It fits Charleston, it, man. It, it, remember that smell when you're crossing the bridge. You remember going to the beach. And how do these breweries get their names? I mean, we're talking from the oldest beer in the United States, Yingling, to the Course Crusher. How do you come up with a Course Crusher? Let's find out. They brew one of my favorite beers, which is the White Zombie. So I really would like Scott to show, I mean, tell me how, why they came up with the name White Zombie, uh, <laughs> what the success of this beer really has. So, White Zombie is... Uh, one of those beers, the style of beer that's probably white, has coriander and orange color. And we're getting ready to have this huge outlet in the Okay. Sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? I love Rob Zombie. Yeah. I love the band. Yeah. And we're going to release this for Halloween. <laughs> and why Zombie it will be. Why did you name the beers a certain way? So what's your top beer that you sell? No coastal names. We tried to stick with our theme. But some of them, for example, our number one selling beer is our German Hefeweizen, Banana Ham. Yeah. That was a customer <laughs> who suggested it. And uh, on the can is a, is a guy who clearly drinks beer for a living. <laughs> wearing a banana ham. Oh, it's, oh no. It's fun having them in here because Karis has a very refined, you know, exquisite palate. She appreciates everything across the board. And then, you know, Ryan will drink stuff too sometimes. I think I like I'm it. I'm scared, you know me. If you like whiskey, you'll enjoy those. It's good. Intense, right? Yeah, that should come, that comes <laughs> in that barrel, right? Yes, it does. <gasps> oh, okay, on. you can have the rest of that. Mm. All right. Mm. That's really tasty. That's really tasty. <laughs> it's not, there's no bitterness to it. Very smooth. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very smooth. You take the hop out. It's really, it's, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hop. I like this. So. I like the we'll, citrusness. We'll, of the, we'll slide you know, this. I think it's a good transition. It, it really is. We'll great. slide this over to Karis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there definitely is. Yeah. There. Try that. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> mm, I, I was scared of it too. I really like that. But there is Mango definitely some meat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Break your bottle of water or your loaf of bread. <laughs> White the zombie milk. to the rescue. White zombie to the rescue. And these breweries have food, but there are differences, apples and oranges. Open style kitchen, um, our only open format kitchen on the property. So this was just a unique concept. So when they decided to do this, they went all in. Yeah. A food truck that comes uh, like two, three times a week. Yeah. Delivery, so it's the Charlotte e-bike delivery service. It's the only one. Um, it's very cool. Uh, so on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday during our busier times, we have them here so they can run out and get people food from all of the. We have a food hall that's five minutes up the street and stuff like that. Oh, so you tell them what they want and then they it's it's uh, it's Catawba eats. Uh, sort of, yeah. Catawba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all these breweries have different activities. So what makes them unique and different? Events they have it goes from yoga to concert. Oh, 
have done all sorts of different stuff recently. Um, this past weekend, we had a dog adoption event. Oh, um, I love those. Yeah. Hey, uh, I saw a picture of Catawba growing weddings. Now, yeah. is that people that have met at Catawba and they got married, or is that? Nope, those are weddings that were oh, okay. um, held at Catawba. Oh. Um, so we have the barrel room, our private event space. The barrel room. The barrel. And why do you call this the barrel room? Well, <laughs> there are a lot of barrels. I how you guys did the ceiling, so it looks like a barrel. So it's actually the old factory ceiling. It is. Uh huh. Yep. Um, so Amos, famous Amos cookies. Um, yeah. And actually, the the color comes from all of the baking and everything that they did in here. So like the sugar and everything. Wow. <laughs> actually, really? over the years, um, it it kind of changed the color. I mean, um, it looks like you guys built it to look but like it's that. Very, it it's works really very well cool. with the space with the barrel. You know, we built this beer garden for the community to come hang out, and uh, it's a great outdoor space. We had the privilege of opening during COVID, so this beer garden was crucial for us. Yeah. yeah. So we have lots of events. We have uh, we have a car show uh, once a month out here in the parking lot. We have uh, dog meetups, uh, which which I didn't know know was a thing. We have a pug meetup almost once a month, oh, wow. where there's about 30 to 50 pugs <laughs> running around this beer garden. That's awesome. <laughs> So, so That's is it great. is it the people that own the pugs trying to connect, or is it a pug trying to find a pug? Yeah, I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out. We've got a strong disc golf community in Charleston, and we offer disc golf baskets, and we even play disc golf. Awesome. This is definitely sticker worthy on the cooler. <laughs> Catawba Brewing. Oh my God, wow. it's so good. Wow. Not in special <laughs> white zombie sticker going on the cooler. So onward and upward and where are we going? Go. And it's kind of rare what we actually do. This time we actually got something we to go. We got our to-go stuff. <laughs> got something to go. That's how much we love it. Bye, Catawba. This great country of ours was built on entrepreneurs, and those stories of the breweries is just another great example. Thank you so much to everybody involved, and drink on. He motivates me to be a better person. He motivates our kids to be great people. And without him, my life would be very, very boring. <laughs> and I made this promise to her. I made this promise that she would always laugh. I would cross that line on the jokes a lot, but I promised her I would always make her laugh. And uh, I think I've done that for a while now. RV life. That's why she's my lady, and I'm still her man, cause she loves me.